And welcome to another episode of Getting It On With Bonnie. Today, my guest is Robin Mills, the lovely Robin Mills. And you are the founder of your own sexuality education consulting company called Sex Education. So, Robin, my first question to you is, you do know sex education, not a real word. It doesn't exist. Yeah, but, you know, me being me, I just created it. Sex education for you, what a better word than sex education. Why did you decide to go into it? What makes sex education a little different? So what makes sex education different and rock other than having me as a founder? Well, um, it's going to be because most of the companies that I know that work with sex ed in the Bay Area don't specifically work with young women of color. And my target audience is youth of color. The reason I prefer to work with them is because I want to get a foundation set with them, but I'm willing to work with anyone of any age, especially people of color, because regardless of how old you are, you probably haven't had sexuality education that has included bodies that look like yours. Sexuality is different depending on what culture you are. I'd like to believe you, people are. Can you give but really a few examples not. to our lovely audience on what those differences might be? Um, yeah, so one example that I can definitely tell you is that in communities of color, young black girls, they have this apparent sense of self-esteem. Like if you run into any young black girl, you think, oh, she's a strong black woman. But really, they've been sexualized from the time that they were like knee-high to a fly side on up. So they have this thing about, they can, they're strong in certain areas, but when it comes to being sexual, they're not so strong. And I've learned from working with young people, they can communicate effectively with everyone in their life except for the person that they're sleeping with. What about young men of color? Is that the same story? I think it's the same thing as far as talking openly with your partner. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that a lot of young men tell me, oh, I don't need you to teach me how to put condoms on. I know what I'm doing. I'm like, uh-huh, how many kids do you have? <laughs> Oh, and it's like, oh, okay, so it didn't work for those few times now, did it? I think there's a big persona in communities of color, not just with black people, but in like Latino communities mm -hmm. also, that there's this whole macho thing that we don't want people to see us as weak. And so we pretend to be like we're stronger than we are. And in some ways, that's definitely inhibiting um, things as far as sexuality is concerned because people won't talk openly about what they need help with, but they'll talk about what they did and who they did and things like that, but not necessarily how to protect themselves. It's a cheesy dance that I created just for YouTube to literally be cheesy, to teach other people to be cheesy and do it. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, Robin. Let's do it. Get up. Get up. We're doing it. All right. I'll sing you the song. How's that? Get up. We're doing Can't the dance. do you the dance. <laughs> okay, let's go. This condom demo dance is like, it's basically like you're teaching people how to put condoms on. <laughs> you sign out you're a small penis, so you're gonna come up. Oh, right. I'm growing, I'm growing. So now you're I'm an growing. erect penis, oh, and then you gotta <laughs> step in, okay? You're gonna oh, open oh, your no, lid, oh, okay. you're gonna, that's opening your package. After you get your condom on, like you put it on there, right? And then you stick it on down and get it all the way down to the base, and now you're ready to have sex. So you can do whatever you want during this time, yes. and then it's time to have an orgasm. And then when you have an orgasm, then you get to just be like, oh, you have orgasm, right? Orgasm everywhere, you, you, you. And then you get to take oh. the condom back off and you throw it away. Robin was fantastic, actually. <laughs> fantastic, I tell you. I loved it. <laughs> so you are on the radio now on KML. Yeah, that's what's up. Saturday, Saturday mornings, 2 a.m., during the Mansion Show, and you're answering different sex, sex and relationship type questions. Is that it? Yeah, um, depending on what night it is, I'm the superstar sex educator, depending on how Drew feels. Um, it's for Drew Hefner's The Mansion Show. The main questions that I get, I get a lot of, oh, I have a bump, is it a pimple? Oh, so you're getting a lot of like sexual health questions. I get a lot of sexual okay. health questions, and the second most questions that I get are um, pretty much, I have a partner who I want to make do this type of activity, how can I get them to do that? What do you usually suggest? I tell them, the first thing I tell them is this, Communication is lubrication. Thank you, Antonia Landles. So, um, yeah, communication is lubrication. I definitely promote communicating with your partner. There's no better way to get what you want than actually talking to your partner and being open and honest about what it is that you want. Yeah. I just want to say what a great time I had getting it on with you today. It was nice getting it on with you too, Bonnie. Oh, thank you, Robin. <laughs> as always, as always, Robin, you know, you know how it is. <laughs> Thank you for getting it on with me, too. And for keeping it safe and sexy. Oh, it's my show, Robin. That's what's my up. show. I end it. You I can end have it. that, too. I end it. My show. Thank you. That's what's okay. up. Oh, you did it again. <laughs> no, I thought it was oh done because you said it was oh over. Oh, my God, Robin. Okay. <laughs> I'm zipping. <laughs> Bye.